If you're in slow tanks and make no mistake, you've come to the right place. Just give to Neil the time to straight up blow your mind with a new show of joy and a plank. Hello everyone and time for another drawing a blank. This time we've got another Warriors OC story time. First thing I want to say is that the response to the last two Warrior OC videos have been so amazing, you guys. Thank you so much. I've been getting so many positive comments and questions from people interested in the story, and there's been some more great fan art, and I just want you all to know that I appreciate it so much. Thank you. This time we're going to be looking at Wolfthorn, who was the winner of the Patreon poll for Who I Draw Next. With this competition being Dawn Frost, Swift Mask, and Golden Pelt, I was pleasantly surprised when Wolfthorn won, since I haven't really gotten much of a chance to talk about him yet. And part of the reason that I haven't talked about him too much is because Wolfthorn isn't actually my character. He belongs to Captain Morwen on DA and Twitter. Links in the description. So I'm going to go over this episode with her to make sure that everything I say here about her character is correct. Back when we first wrote the story, we all role-played the characters we created. So Wolfthorn and his story is Morwen's baby, the way that Spotted Shadow and Wildfur are mine. With all that out of the way, let's go to RiverClan and talk about this silver boy. Backstory time. Wolfthorn was born in RiverClan, son of Pale Willow and Brightscale. His father Brightscale was one of RiverClan's finest, a cat most cats looked up to and admired for his strength, sense of justice, and calm rationale in the face of confrontation. The current leader, Poolstar, was quickly reaching his last few lives when the deputy announced he would be retiring soon, leaving the position open and Brightscale as one of Poolstar's likely candidates. Not just as his deputy, of course, but as his successor. But also in the running was a younger warrior, Rainfall, who had successfully led many attacks against WindClan and ShadowClan's borders, and was admired for her tenacity and cold attitude towards cats outside RiverClan. Brightscale's calm demeanor, while rational and carried an air of wisdom, had turned away a number of his fellow warriors as being snobbish. And so the clan was torn into a secret power struggle for who would become RiverClan's next leader. Brightscale and Rainfall competed in fierce, subtle battles to impress Poolstar, and as the time got closer and closer for Poolstar to choose a new deputy, Poolstar clearly seemed to start to favor Brightscale. Unwilling to accept this, Rainfall and her father plotted to injure Brightscale to the point where he could no longer serve as deputy. Only Rainfall took her jealousy even further and ended up killing the warrior. When Rainfall came back to the clan, she made up a sad story about how she had tried to save Brightscale from a fox attack, but was too late. Poolstar honored Rainfall's bravery to help her clanmate and her rival, and Rainfall was seen as a hero to River Clan. Unknown to everyone except perhaps Rainfall herself, Wolfpaw had been witness to his father's murder and knew the truth. Being the only eyewitness, though, Wolfpaw feared getting silenced the same way his father was, and instead started becoming detached from his clanmates and his clan. Although he showed many signs to be a good warrior like his father before him, Wolfpaw distanced himself as much as possible from that life, and even started dreaming of leaving the clans behind him for good and becoming a rogue. Wolfpaw's remaining family, his mother and his older brother Ripped Stripe, felt Wolfpaw's behavior disgraced his father's legacy, and even though Wolfpaw's mother tried her best to understand her son, Wolfpaw's brother Ripstripe couldn't have been more displeased with Wolfpaw's attitude. The only cat in RiverClan who Wolfpaw could open up to was Swiftpaw, an apprentice around Wolfpaw's age. Swiftpaw was brave, kind, strong, and loyal to ThunderClan in a way that reminded Wolfpaw of his father, and soon, Swiftpaw and Wolfpaw were like brothers. With Swiftpaw around, Wolfpaw felt more hope for RiverClan's future under Rainstar, and tried to be a better warrior for his sake. Just when things were complicated enough, however, Wolfpaw saved Dawnpaw of ThunderClan after seeing her fall into the lake crossing the tree bridge. The two of them had a natural chemistry with each other and bantered all the way back across the shore. After just one chance encounter, these two couldn't stop thinking about each other, 
And Wolfpaw made the first move by invading ThunderClan territory to see Donpaw. Although they were head over heels for each other, Donpaw and Wolfpaw were both very good at keeping secrets, and not even Donpaw's friends in ThunderClan or her RiverClan friend Ravenpaw knew about the strong connection between these two. And after both of them received their warrior names, Wolfthorn and Dawnfrost, Wolfthorn set out to find them a new home, a place where they could live together, away from clan borders and away from disapproving eyes. He told Dawnfrost he would return when he found a perfect home for them. Days turned to moons, however. Wolfthorn's journey away from home turned out to be longer than he first anticipated, and finally gave Wolfthorn the freedom to be himself and take time to do the soul-searching he needed to do after his father's death. On his journey, he bumped into a strange loner by the name of Brother of a Starless Knight. Brother and Wolfthorn traveled together for moons, and although Wolfthorn came to trust Brother, he never really knew what Brother wanted from him, or even exactly what Brother was. Wolfthorn couldn't be sure, but even after they parted ways, Wolfthorn thought he could catch glimpses of the massive black cat in his shadow. When Wolfthorn returned, he went straight to Donfrost, who he hoped would still be waiting to leave with him. Instead, Donfrost was furious with how long he had been away. Things had changed. Donfrost was now a highly respected warrior of ThunderClan, and even wanted to become ThunderClan's leader now that Elmstar was starting to show his age. Despite Donfrost's anger at him, Wolfthorn had always known deep down that Donfrost's loyalty lay with ThunderClan, and she wasn't ready to give up her ambition to be with him. So, broken-hearted, Wolfthorn returned to RiverClan. What greeted him was a nasty surprise. Rainstar turned out to be much worse of a leader than Wolfthorn could have even imagined. The moons had turned her petty and cold-hearted, and she surrounded herself with only her most loyal of warriors. And although she did allow Wolfthorn back into RiverClan, it didn't come for free. Swift Mask was placed as Wolfthorn's permanent bodyguard, and ordered to report to Rainstar if Wolfthorn so much as put a claw outside of RiverClan without her orders. Surprisingly, this punishment also came with an apprentice for Wolfthorn to train, Greypaw. Although Wolfthorn figured there must be some devious motive behind this as well, he was thankful for Swift Mask and Greypaw's company. He hoped Swift Mask could forgive him for just up and leaving RiverClan, but Swift Mask spoke nothing of it. Wolfthorn knows Swift Mask is loyal to RiverClan above all else, but did that loyalty extend to Rainstar's crooked schemes? Now that Wolfthorn is back in RiverClan, he knows he needs to make things right again. Finding out who he can trust and who would betray him to Rainstar is going to be a dangerous mission, but Wolfthorn can't stand to see Rainstar ruin RiverClan, and even though he doesn't want anything to do with clan leadership himself, Wolfthorn is willing to risk everything to see Rainstar brought to justice and RiverClan restored. Wolfthorn's got a lot of long journeys ahead of him in the rest of Star Clan battles, but this is where we end things off for today. Next time we do one of these, I hope to tackle either Dawnfrost or Golden Pelt, so look forward to one of those. I'll be back next week with a new episode, and until then, Everyone, please stay inspired. I'm alone, I'm a broken home. I gave you all the bricks that I own and know. I'm letting go, I'm breaking these walls down, breaking these walls down. If you want adventure, then fly to home. But if you want to travel, then go alone. Yeah, what's the point in us if I never know? Yeah, if you're gonna leave, I'ma let you go. Oh.